First, we will make a ticks box. Click the A on the toolbar panel to the left. Then, click anywhere on the workspace and type what you need. In my case, flag seller. You can change the font type and the font size with the upper toolbox, or just simply drag the corner to enlarge the size. You can also move the position by manually dragging the text box. Rotating can be easily done by double clicking on the text box and moving the four corner markers. Use the color panel on the right side to change your text color. Sometimes the text color might not be able to stand out from the background color. An outline will be necessary to distinguish your text from your background. For example, my background color is light blue. If my font color has to be yellow, I have to add a strong outline. First, select the text and then double click the outline color square at the bottom right of the screen. Here, I must select the width and the color of the outline. In this case, I will use a black outline. Here is the result. Now, we will look at how to add our company logo onto the flag. First, we need to import the image. Click File, Import. It should show a pop-up window to ask you to select a file. Here, we will randomly choose a PNG file as our logo. After it has been loaded, click the place where you want the logo to stay. The logo can be enlarged or rotated, just like the text box. Here, we will move the logo to the very top of the flag. One important thing is that we have to make sure that the image quality is good enough for printing. The quality is always good if the imported logo is a vector file, but if it is a bitmap, we have to make sure that the image resolution is not lower than 100 dpi. Select bitmaps from the top menu and then click resample. Check the resolution values here. If the dpi is lower than 100, change it to at least 100. But be careful, resampling will dramatically increase the file size. We can also use CorelDRAW to convert a bitmap image into a vector object. It will be discussed in the following advanced video. Once you are happy with your design, you must check the following two things before you upload. First, all colors must be CMYK, not RGB. Go to Edit, Find and Replace, Replace Objects. In the pop-up window, select Replace a Color Model or Palette and hit Next. Make sure that the color model is CMYK and hit Finish, then Replace All. It will replace all with non-CMYK colors to CMYK. Secondly, we must convert all texts to curves. Go to Edit, Select All, Text. Now right click on any selected text and hit the Convert to Curves on the list. Now the flag is ready for printing. Save it as a PDF file for uploading. Go to File, Save As, Select the PDF and hit save, then OK.